As so many Israeli casualties from the massacre at that music festival, more than 260 bodies recovered from the scene. We're hearing from witnesses. Ian Panel is on the scene in Starot, Israel. Good morning, Ian. Yeah, good morning, George. We're actually only a couple of miles away from the Gaza border. And when that infiltration, that large-scale attack happened, Hamas militants came right into the center of this town. We saw wild videos of them opening fire on civilians. Dozens were killed. And this was the police station that was overrun by militants, the scene of a pitched battle. Many people died. But as you say, the single worst incident of this entire attack was at a party just a few miles away. This morning, a music festival in Israel packed with hundreds of young people ending in carnage. Early Saturday morning, Hamas rockets streaking overhead as people celebrated and danced. Yo, yo, Suddenly, yo, yo. panic spreading as Hamas gunmen close in. Festival goers seen in videos circulating online, running for their lives, desperately fleeing for safety. All the people who got away fast were shot in their, in their car. No Mankat survived the attack by sprinting through an open field. So you just keep running because you realize that if you don't keep running, then you don't go back home. With rockets exploding overhead, Noam running for miles without food or water. She still doesn't know whether some of her closest friends made it out alive. Tom and his girlfriend Mai describing the chaos and gunfire as they try to escape. Bullets is, is over your head. You hear, you, you hear, hear the, the you hear the shot like, you hear the the shot. You get down, and keep running. More than 260 people were slaughtered by Hamas. Video posted online showing what is now a terrible crime scene. But this morning, many are still missing, including John Polin's son Hirsch. He sent two brief WhatsApp messages to my wife and me. The first message said, I love you. The second message said, I'm sorry. Since then, we've heard nothing from him. The family of Idan Dor are in agonizing limbo, awaiting any news about their 25-year-old son. We're all here. No one can sleep. We have no information about uh, Idan, nothing. Idan first escaped the gunfire with a friend, calling his sister in panic. When he ran in, uh, and screamed that his I'm running and I'm, uh, I'm running for my life. Everybody, everyone is shooting everywhere in every direction. He ran for his life as Hamas gunned people down. His family haven't heard from either of them since. Well, one of those young men that we spoke to, Tom, telling me that he's already received his call-up papers. He's heading in this direction, and we're getting every sense of this brooding battle. We hear the fighter jets, we hear the drones, we hear the explosions every few minutes, but we also see lots of military vehicles moving into this area with a real sense that this could escalate even further. DeMarco? And it is far from over, Ian. Thank you for that report. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.